Music is in the air this weekend, but it's not mariachi we'll be hearing. It's going to be the roar of the engines and the cheers of the crowd. Formula One is back in the very heart of Mexico City at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. This is an exhilarating circuit on the Formula One calendar. We'll be sure to see plenty of battles and overtaking this weekend, especially with the help of not one, not two, but three DRS zones. At this early stage in the season, there are still plenty of opportunities for things to change. In this sport, there simply are no guarantees. Let's get this underway. Our race weekend continues as we head into FP3 and then qualifying. Whoever said every second counts clearly hadn't reveled in the sport of Formula One, where grid positions can be decided by thousandths of a second. The drivers competing today are amongst the finest in the world, but the margins are even finer. And as you can probably guess, there is no margin for error. Strap yourselves in. This is Formula One.
we are, folks. We're back for another day of scintillating F1 action. It's race day. Alfa Romeo are dominating at the top of the grid here, which should give them a serious edge in the race ahead. McLaren did a decent job during qualifying. This is a solid grid position, and it certainly has the potential to lead to good race results. And the sun is shining bright here today. This is perfect weather for teams and drivers alike to show us what they're capable of. Well, there's some serious decision-making ahead for teams and the drivers as we begin the Mexican Grand Prix. As the sun continues to shine, it seems like nothing can dampen the mood of excitement here at the track. Here we have the Alfa Romeo. They're starting today at the head of the pack, but will they be able to stay there? And it's the second Alfa Romeo there. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. Everything's been building to this. This is it. Here we go with the Mexican Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. McLaren gain a position. Well done. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. Seems to have been a lockup. We can take a look now. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. And there's the lockup. It almost got away from them entirely. <laughs> That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. Have a look. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. And there it is. That's where they spin out. No! And that was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances.
We've just had a spin. Here's the replay. Okay, so there we have the Alpine. They lose it there. That's the spin. Let's see what happened there. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. That crash is terrible news for the team. No! And the team had such high hopes today. What a shame. We've just had a crash on the track. Let's take a look at the replay. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. the crash the team are really disappointed with that let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly Boxes up. Was that a lock-up on the track? Let's take a closer look. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. And yes, that's the lock-up. Sounds like someone's locked up. Let's have a look. Now, just focus on the Haas. That lock-up could have cost them dearly.
Here's the replay. So this was the Aston Martin. Dear me, they won't have been expecting that. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out there. Take a look now. Now just take a look at the McLaren. And there we see the crash. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. What happened there? Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Oh, they've lost it. They've locked up. No! And that was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. Yellow ahead, yellow ahead. Did somebody spin out there? Let's take a look at the replay. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The car's just gone. Should be the last lap. Is that a lockup? Let's have a look. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Oh, and there's the lockup. That's the last thing they'll have wanted.
Over the line. Here's the replay. It's all over. Alfa Romeo takes first place. All credit to the team for the car they put together. But without that incredible and consistent driving, it'd all be for nothing. Fantastic work from the Alfa Romeo driver. A good outcome for Alfa Romeo today. The team have got to be pleased with this performance. You're completely right. And what a day for all the fans of the team as well. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Coming up in the next round is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix as we head to Brazil. Join us next time at Interlagos.